So let's go a little bit deeper into the JavaScript world and take a look at a library called jQuery. So this is one of the most used JavaScript libraries. And jQuery is an abstraction on several tasks that you commonly perform with, with JavaScript. So with jQuery, it's a lot easier to find elements on an HTML document, to listen to events, or change the content, for example, create new elements, and also make calls over the network to some web services, for example. But before we go and try a little bit about jQuery, we need to understand a concept called the document object module, or in short, the DOM. The document object module is an API for a valid HTML and well-formed XML document as well. It defines the logical structure of documents and the way that the document is accessed and manipulated. It will be created as soon as the web browser loads 100% of the web page, and its format is like a hierarchical structure. So in this case, the DOM of my sample HTML page is just like the image below. So working with jQuery, we always need to reference which DOM element are we listening or changing or making an operation on top. We can do that on top of the entire document, that says the entire page, like listen to all the events of one page, or by any specific element. For example, listen to the events of the button number one that has the ID BTN1, or something that is passing on the H1, the header one. Now let's play a little with jQuery and see how does it interact with the HTML document. So to do that, I would just look for a content delivery network, a instance of jQuery in the cloud. Of course, you can download jQuery and use it as a local resource, but I can get it also straight from, for example, the Google API. So I just copy this code right here and paste it on our HTML. So let's go here. So right now my document gonna load the jQuery and then I can use that inside my sample.js, my local JavaScript file. And I'll, I will also create another, an additional button. So we can trigger two different actions. So the button one and the button number two. Okay, so this, those are the changes on, on the HTML side. Now let's just take a look and in how, how to interact with jQuery using our JavaScript. So to make things quicker, I would just create a new function. Let's call this function create content and place all this code inside it. So the same code that was triggered automatically first. Now it's inside a function. And I will create a jQuery, let's say a listener right here. And uh, this will, will listen to the entire, to the, all the events that happens inside the object, the, 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 the HTML page directly. So I would just call here dollar, dollar sign for the jQuery. And here the don object that I want to, to, to listen. So in this case, document, this is the entire one. And the condition when the document is ready, I will call a function and inside my callback function, inside this function that I just type it, let's let's filter some let's filter some events from one specific element. So again jQuery, but this time for the BTN one. And uh, let's say when somebody clicks on it. So again, we're gonna crawl a function. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna call the create content function, the one that is there. And let's test it if this works. So just save this, save my HTML. And let me just open it and see. So right here, I have the two buttons. And when I click button one, I'm calling the function to create the content. So, okay, so here you, ha you had a quick example of how do I listen to some events, like somebody click on this element. Let's make another one. 
quick one. So we created another button, right? So the BTN2. And also let's monitor the click for it. And every time somebody clicks on it, let's just say I want to get another element. Let's say all the header ones. This here is missing a hashtag, otherwise it will look for a tag, btn2, we don't have a tag, this is an ID. Here we have a tag, btn, a uh, tag h1, so let's just get this and let's say I want to fade it out. And let's see once again, I just refresh this, and here, but button 1 creating the elements and button 2 fading out the two header ones. This one and the other one that was just created. That's it, that's a quick sample of what you can do with jQuery. And in the next exercises, we're gonna use jQuery to do more and more stuff on the client side.